guys, and this is stuff that DJ cooks sexy food. I'm going to show you how to utilize those bones we had left over from when we butchered those chicken leg quarters to make a wonderful, rich, delicious stock that can be used for soups or any other application that requires chicken stock. So the ingredients for our chicken stock is as follows. We have three carrots that I quartered. We have three ribs of celery that I cut into thirds. We have five sprigs of fresh parsley. We have five sprigs of fresh thyme. We have five cloves of garlic that have just been crushed, skins on. We have three bay leaves. We have 20 peppercorns. We have two small onions that are quartered, skin on. And we have all those bones left over from the chicken leg quarters, both the backbones as well as the thigh bones. We are also gonna need enough water to cover everything once we put it into the pot by two inches. So into our stock pot, let's start by introducing all our chicken parts, our onions, carrots, our celery, our parsley, thyme, cloves of garlic, bay leaves, and peppercorns. Now, as I said, we're going to top this with cold water. The top until everything is covered with a couple of inches of water, as I said. Now we're gonna put this on a high heat to bring this up to a boil. So our stock has just come to a boil. I'm gonna take off the lid, knock the heat down to low. And any of this foam and scum that, have, that has appeared on the top, I'm going to scrape that off and discard that. And we're gonna keep this on low, just allowing it to very slowly simmer for four to six hours, uncovered. Could go as long as 24, as I said, if you wanted to make it as a bone broth. Keeping in mind, I did not add any salt to this at this time. I will add salt to the finished product. Okay, so I, so I scooped out as much of the foam that appeared on the top. Now we're going to let this sit, as I said, for several hours, and we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, so it's been about seven hours. You can see our stock has been simmering just ever so slightly with a little bubble coming up every now and then. Now what we're going to do is we're going to strain out all the vegetables and chicken pieces from the stock. So with a large bowl with a fine metal sieve, I'm going to strain the stock, making sure that all the solid bits are in the strainer. So we're gonna remove all the solid pieces, all the solids that were remaining from the stock, the chicken bones, the carrots, the celery, the onions, the parsley, the bay leaves, all this has given up every bit of flavor that it possibly can. So we're gonna go ahead and discard this. As you can see, we are left with this beautiful clear stock. At this time, we will add our salt to taste and let this stock cool and then jar this up. So I went ahead and I jarred our stock. It can be kept in the refrigerator for up to a week. If you have a pressure canner, it can be made shelf stable. You can keep it for several months or you could use it right away like we're going to in our next application. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make homemade stock. Hope you try it at home and we'll see you next time in the next installment of PJ Cook Sexy Food.